To make our own spawn point, first we need to go to the main game directory and find the folder of the level we want to add a spawn point to. Go to content, levels and find the level you want and open it. We need to make a copy of the info JSON and put it into the user folder. It can be found in app data, local, BeamNG drive, 0.27 or whatever version of BeamNG you're currently running. Once you're there, you'll need to make a folder called levels if you don't already have one. In that folder, make another folder with the same folder name of the level you are taking the info JSON from. Paste the info JSON into that folder. This will act as our modified version of the original. Then start the game and load the level. Once the level is loaded, press F11 to open the editor. In the scene tree on the left by default, you will see all the objects in the level. Open the player drop points drop down and choose one that is near to where you want to make a spawn point. Once it is selected, hold down left shift and move it to duplicate it. And then place it where you want your spawn point to be. You can double click stuff on the scene tree or press F once it's selected to move the camera to the item. Next we need to rename the point. You can use any name as long as it is kept consistent. Click file on the editor, click save level and now exit the game. In our user levels folder we can now see that there are more files that we have modified as a result of saving our changes in the editor. Now we need to register our spawn point in the info JSON file that we copied over. You'll see the spawn points registered here. Copy and paste one of the existing blocks, being careful to keep the same syntax as the existing ones, and adjust the naming to match the spawn point that you added in the editor. In this case, I removed the translation ID entirely to see if it would still work. This is where you would normally put the name. You can write the name in here instead of deleting it as I did. Lastly, we can add a preview. We can move one over from the game directory and modify that too. This will keep things the same kind of format. Keep the preview name the same as you put it in the info JSON. Now if you load the game you should see your newly registered spawn point.